What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I want to teach you how to multiply radicals, all right? And one thing that you always want to keep in mind when doing these types of problems are perfect squares, okay? So if you remember what perfect squares are, or if you don't, I'm going to tell you anyways, it's these numbers right here. 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, right? 49, right? We could keep going. So whenever you take the square root of any of these numbers right here, it gives you just a normal whole number, right? There's no decimal on it. So those are perfect squares. So knowing these numbers are gonna be really helpful for when you're multiplying radicals, all right? So for example, if we had something like the square root of four times the square root of five, well, whenever you see a perfect square like this, you always wanna just simplify it, okay? So the square root of four, that's equal to two, right? So really here we have two times the square root of five, right? Now the square root of five, we can't simplify that anymore, right? That's not a perfect square and it's also prime. Okay, those are the two reasons why we can't simplify the square root of five anymore. So we would just leave it like this, all right? You would literally just write two times the square root of five, all right? That would be your answer right there. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say we had the square root of two times the square root of eight, okay? Now, whenever you're multiplying radicals together, you can actually just multiply the numbers together Okay, and put them all under one radical, all right? So the square root of two times the square root of eight is the same thing, or it's equal to the square root of two times eight, okay? So again, you can literally just combine whatever's inside these radicals underneath just one big radical symbol, okay? So what is two times eight? Well, that's equal to 16, right? So really here we have the square root of 16, which we know to be equal to four, right? So then four would be your answer. All right, here's another one. The square root of eight times the square root of three, okay? So again, to multiply these together, I can just take, you know, the numbers in there and then just multiply those together under one big radical symbol, right? So the square root of eight times the square root of three is equal to the square root of eight times three, okay? And eight times three is equal to 24, right? So then here we have the square root of 24. Now, the square root of 24 is not a perfect square, but can we simplify it anymore? Well, actually we can because, well, specifically it's not a prime number, right? So it has factors. Okay, so the way we can break this down is if we had the number 24 and I told you, you know, break it down into its factors. Well, 24, I can break it down into four times six, right? So we can do the exact same thing when it has a radical symbol attached to it. The, the square root of 24, we can break down into the square root of four times the square root of six. Okay, and then we can simplify this again, right? Because we have a perfect square right here. So the square root of four, that's equal to two. So then we're multiplying times the square root of six right there, right? So then two times the square root of six is just equal to two root six like that, right? So then that would be your answer right there. Okay, and one thing I want to point out here is when I was breaking uh, down 24 up here, I could have broken it down into a couple other ways, right? I could have done 12 and 2. I could have broken it down into 8 times 3, right? But I specifically chose 4 and 6 because 4 right here is a perfect square, right? And when I take the square root of it, right, like we did right there, it just turned into a regular whole number, right, 2. So that's why I specifically chose four. So if you have the chance to pick a perfect square as one of your factors, like when you're breaking it up like this, definitely do that, all right? It's gonna make your life a lot easier. Okay, so here we have four root three times two root two, okay? So as you can see, we have some numbers on the outside of the radicals, right? So what you wanna do is combine those numbers by multiplying them together, right? Because we're just multiplying. So four times two, that's equal to eight. Right? And then we're going to multiply the radicals together, right? So we have root three and root 12, right? So again, we can combine those under one big radical symbol, three times 12, okay? Now, what is three times 12? Well, that's equal to 36, right? So really here we have eight times the square root of 36, right? And the square root of 36 is equal to six, right? So then here we really have eight times six and eight times six is equal to 48, right? So that'd be your answer right there. 
Okay, here we have another similar problem, okay? So again, we have numbers on the outsides of the radicals, right? So then you just want to multiply those together. So negative six times five, that would be equal to negative 30, right? And then as far as these radicals go, again, we can just multiply those together by putting them under one big radical symbol, right? So five times 10, right? Five times 10, okay? So then here we have negative 30 times the square root of five times 10, which is 50. Okay, now I wanna try and break 50 down. And 50, right, 50, we can break down into 25 times two, right? There's a couple other ways, right? We could do five times 10 or whatever, but I wanna do 25 times two because 25 is a perfect square, right? So then uh, the square root of 50, again, we can break down into the square root of 25 times the square root of two, okay? And then we still have this negative 30 out here, right? So then uh, if we simplify this again, we're gonna have negative 30 times the square root of 25, which is five, right? And then we just have the square root of two out here. So then the last thing that we have to do here is combine these two numbers right there, right? Because now they're both outside of radicals, right? So we have negative 30 times five, which is equal to negative 150, right? And then we still have this root two right there. Okay, so then that would be your final answer right there. Okay, so here we have four minus the square root of 10 in parentheses, right? And then this square, square root of two on the outside, right? So all you have to do here is distribute. So we're going to multiply this square root of two by the four and by this negative square root of 10, okay? So first of all, four times the square root of two is just four times the square root of two, like that, okay? And then the square root of two times the square root of 10 right here would again be the square root of two times 10, okay? And since we have this minus sign right here, right, we bring that straight down also. Okay, so then if we're simplifying here, we're gonna have four root two minus, and then here we have the square root of 20, right? Now 20, again, is not a perfect square, right? So is there a way we can break this down? Well, yeah, we can break it down into four times five, right? And four is a perfect square, so that's why we wanna use specifically four times five, okay? So then the square root of 20, again, we can break down into the square root of four times the square root of five, right? And then the square root of two, again, is just equal to two. And then we have the square root of five right there, right? So, and then we still have to bring this down, right? So we still have the four root two right there, and then we're still subtracting, right? So then here we have four root two minus two root five. Okay, so we have different radicals right here, right? So there's nothing we can combine or do anything with that. So this would be your final answer right there. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.